Okay, this is it right here, guys. This is this is why we do this. This is our blank canvas. This is our start. Oh, where are you going? Uh, excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> for what we're going for here, I think it's going to work perfectly. It causes nice shadows. Oh, yes, all the lovely little things and stuff. And I don't know what all these things are called, guys. Welcome back to MD Fish Tanks. I'm MD and these are my fish tanks. Right guys, we've got a bit of a task on our hand today because I'm going to be breaking down this aquarium. So firstly, I'm breaking down the Guppy Aquarium because this is where I want to do a nice cool black water skate. It's quite shallow in depth and I think it will lend itself really well to something like that. Also, we're going to break down the sparkling Garami tank as well because I need to use this tank to put in any of the good moss from this one. So like, you know, look how good the moss is on these branches. You don't want to chuck that sort of thing away. And any plants in there I might be able to reuse as well so I can put them in this tank. And this tank's going to be something else really cool as well, but that's coming later. First and foremost though, let's get this emptied. Well, it's the next day guys, and you can see that all the, it's all cleared. Um, but the only thing left are these really cool sort of grassy nana, uh, Valsenaria nana, that's what it's called. It's, it's just like sort of sweeping over. I want to keep those. I've got plans for those in another skate maybe. Um, I don't think they're gonna work with what I wanna do. And I'm gonna trim all of the Rotala Rotala folio and replant that as well. And then I'm gonna drop the water level, take out the livestock and then remove everything, clean it up and then start fresh. Well, that has taken me ages to catch all those out but there's all the guppies in there and the babies as well i managed to get so i'm going to put them into the island tank away be free my guppy army all right well we'll leave them to it and we'll just carry on with what we need to do next which is get the shrimp out <laughs> and there's a lot more than i actually thought so i might be here a while I would... oh where are you going uh excuse me Thank you. <laughs> right, yeah, I'm gonna get them out. I'm gonna keep them in a separate pot because I want them to go back in the scape afterwards. Oh, and in case you guys were wondering what I did with all the plants. <laughs> Look at that. They're in the cave. What are you doing? How? How is that even possible? But yeah, I put them in here, even if just temporary, just cause, well, it was gonna be temporary, but look at that. I mean, that's nuts. That looks blooming good. <laughs> That has taken forever, but we've got all the snails, well, most of the snails, and from what I can see, all the shrimp as well. There's quite a lot there, which is good. They'll all be going in the new setup, so it's good to know that we've got that cleanup crew ready to go straight away. So that's the tank, whoa! <laughs> so that's the tank removed, and look how much, obviously ignore the pipes, but look, you could just see the whole of the four foot aquatorium now. Um, ignore that stuff at the front. It needs a massive water change to get rid of whatever's going on with that sand there. It's just basically telling me there's too many organics in the water. But look, you can see the whole thing. Like part of me would be tempted to just go, you know what, just scrap it. We'll wait till the, you know, the new studio is done and keep this all open. Nah, that's, <laughs> that's not my style. We're building it. We've got a space there for a tank. A tank is going there, but it does give me so much excitement for when the new studio is up. Uh, there's, the new studio is going to be twice as wide as this studio now, shed. Come on, it's a shed, but I like calling it a studio, why not? Um, so I'm going to actually put two of these next to each other. <laughs> How cool would that be? Two different styles of aquatorium, I think. Or maybe, no, one, no, 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 no. sorry, got that wrong. I'm going to redo this aquatorium, which is going to look absolutely awesome. I've got such a good idea for what I want to do for it. I'm going to have one next to it that's going to be a giant jungle-themed uh, ultimate angel tank because i know how much you guys want that and then i'm going to be doing another one in the middle of the whole studio so three of these big tanks and the one in the middle is going to be rainbow river and you know i'm going to leave it at that because there's loads look how cool those guppies look guys 
So glad I put them in there. Is that too bright? I don't know. Does that look better? Look better, bring the exposure down a bit. So cool, I've got to give you a close up. It really has transformed that tank straight away. I think I'm gonna keep them in there. Such a good array of colors as well. I love the white ones, don't you? Like the whites really pop in there. Hopefully get some of those babies will be the white ones. Who knows? Right, anyway, on with the show. Now cut to the standardized scene now of me washing out a fish tank. <laughs> the tank all uh, cleaned, dried, ready to go. Also, I managed to find some white primer um, in my shed, actual shed, like with all my tools and stuff. Uh, you know what I'm like, I'm one to always use what I've got to have. God, it's so cold, I don't know if you can see my breath. I hope it doesn't smell. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be putting this primer on the back glass. I don't know if it's fish safe, but it doesn't matter because it's the other side of the glass. Plus, I don't even care about this tank because it cost me like, 13 dollars 10 pounds so i bought it used a long time ago it's not a long time ago i haven't been doing this long so yeah about six months ago for me that's a long time um so just light misting over the back and if i don't like it i can always take it off anyway but yeah it's got it here it's almost a full can might as well use it That is looking sick, I think. It's got a slight blue tinge to it, but I've just realized, I know what that is now. It's the glass, of course, it's not OptiWhite. This is just a second-hand tank I bought a while back, so it's not any special glass, but it's okay. Let's just give it a go. I think it's gonna look really good once we've got everything in there. The next job is just to start adding in some of the hardscape. So I'm gonna go for a big woody sort of look. I wanna do like a, a fallen tree, tree stump kind of thing. I don't want to fill the water right up either. I think this will be a really cool one to do sort of halfway or three quarters of the way. Yeah, just see how it goes. And then we can, uh, I don't like to plan too much and just see how, see how it feels as you're doing it and adapt as you go. This is it right here, guys. This is, this is why we do this. This is our blank canvas. This is our start. This is where the magic happens. Let's do this. Right then, boys, where are we? Otter nursery. Otter nursery. Otter nursery, is it? What is Otter it? Otter nursery. Otter nurseries. Uh, we come here to get our ferns, haven't we? What's daddy's favourite plant? Um, ferns. Um. <laughs> That's right. Are you picking your nose? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't do that. Doodles. Oh. <laughs> Doodles. Wake up. Wake up. You awake? No? We're here. Oh God, we better wake him up. Okay, so we're at Otter Nurseries. Now this place doesn't actually have an aquatic shop, but it does have a great, great selection of ferns. So we're gonna go in there, check them out, probably buy all of them, because that's what I'm like, I love them so much. Right, I know you guys aren't that interested in these ferns, but I am, so, <laughs> like this one. I don't actually know what it's called. I'll put the lights, the name up on the screen, but I'll get this one. And I've got that one, Henry, haven't I? And I love these ones as well. So, that's really nice. I definitely want that one. Are you watering? 
<laughs> I don't know how much water they need, but look guys, look here, they've got air plants. This might be tri quite interesting. Yeah, let's water these. I don't really know much about them, but they look quite cool, so I'm gonna get some, yeah? Right guys, so we're now back from the garden centre. So I think it's worth noting that there's not going to be many plants in this aquarium. It's a black waterscape. Black waterscapes don't tend to have a lot of plants in them because obviously the tannins reduce the lighting levels, which means that you won't have like real green, vibrant look. It just wouldn't look natural anyway. So yeah, so it's all about the hardscape really with a black water aquarium. You just got to have a real strong heartbreak. Heartbreak? 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 <laughs> No heartbreak, but we've got a strong hardscape. I think it's fair to say that. Let me spin you around. Yeah, I personally think we've got some really good shapes, shadows and everything going on there. Um, I'm just about to receive some high-end lights from Twinstar actually, but do you know what? I'm still gonna keep the LED floodlight on this tank. And the reason being, it just creates a really good spotlight effect, I think, for, for what we're going for here. I think it's gonna work perfectly. It causes nice shadows, basically. Any spotlight will cause good shadows. It will cause a sort of shimmering effect on the top. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you guys, all the equipment is in this aquarium already. Would you believe that? I've got a filter in there. I've got a heater in there. Well, that's it. I've got a filter and a heater in there. Let's take a little look at how I've hidden it. So there's our main filter. So that's shooting off to the right-hand side there, and it should spin around all the way around, come around the back side of the tank where it also has the heater hidden. And yeah, we'll get a nice sort of rotation that should keep the water nice and clear. So put that one back in the same place, hopefully. And there we go, look, look at that. So that's the first sort of bit of planting in. I think that looks really cool. Nice little sort of bonsai tree, if you like. And I've just added these little flat pieces as well to the top so that I can add some terrestrial moss on. I think that'll add a really good accent. Oh guys, I think we're looking good so far. I really like that. It's got like a sort of islandy feel to it, isn't it? So if we really want to get this like into a black water skate, then we need to start to tint the water. It's already actually starting to tint from this bogwood alone, but I've got some botanicals that have been sent to me. There we go, look, Blackwater UK. Check out their Instagram, guys, it's pretty cool. Right, so we've got a load of sort of leaf, dried up leaves. Ah oh, yes, all the lovely little things and stuff and i don't know what all these things are called guys but i know they're going to look wicked in the skate but first of all what we have to do is boil all this stuff up to a release the tannings and b enable them to sink because you don't want them all floating on the surface they will eventually sink but we want it to be good straight away so let's get them boiled up
I think that looks fantastic. And like, you know, some people might not be a, a fan of, you know, the tinted water. My wife for a start certainly isn't, hence why this is being done in the studio, not the house. And you know, I think it looks quite cool. But the good thing about it is that if you don't like it or you get bored, you can just do a big water change and it, it puts it back to normal pretty much, you know, because all these, all the, the parts in there will lose tannings over time. So thank you Blackwater UK for supplying the uh, botanicals that you can see. But you might have also noticed that this is sitting here. Well, inside here, I've got a ton of shrimp and snails. They're all going in. So yeah, they'll just put them in there to get to the right temperature because they've just been sat about 20 degrees and this temperature is set to 24 in here. So the big question guys, what do we want to put in the fallen tree blackwater scape? What fish? You know, it's hard to know. Do we want a schooling fish? Do we want a special fish? Uh, I don't know. I think like a, uh, a school of about nine cardinals would look really cool in the black water. Maybe some cardinals, a pair of epistogramma, something like that. Or epistogramma, epistogramma? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't matter, does it? Anyway, let's get these shrimp in. to be over 